so my my kind of path to this. So I I graduated college in 2009. I joined the army in 2010. I was a logistics officer in the army. You know, I was actually doing just typical typical male things. Um, I actually got married. Um, so me and my ex wife we had a pretty good life. She was the first person I came out to in 2014 because I, just who I was was like keeping the secret. My whole life was just eating me alive. And so I had to tell somebody and she was the only person I, I truly trusted. And, and um, so I told her and we stayed together for about a year and a half later before we separated at the end of 2015. I moved to Fort Bragg. That's kind of when I started to really explore my gender and who I was. And so I got out of the army in 2017, moved to Atlanta, continued to kind of make sure that, you know, what was this feeling that I was, I felt my whole life, but now I'm actually able to figure it out and, and see what, how far this goes and, and how far I want to go with it. And so um, I kind of determined, um, I came out to the rest of my family at the end of the summer of 2018. I was still kind of figuring things out, but by, um, I ended up starting hormones in March of 2019. So no, I didn't serve um, well. And I, I honestly, I don't think I could have. I, I could have, but it would have been just a, a very difficult thing to, you know, come out to everybody and everything like that. It was hard enough just getting out of the military and disappointing, feel like you're disappointing people by getting out. So it, because it becomes like a second family. So it's like coming out to your family. And so coming out to my family before I came out to my actual family would have been a little bit interesting. Too. Mm -hmm. So when you see those commercials for trying to encourage people to sign up to serve, and a lot of them now actually do incorporate some kind of like, whether it's sexual I identity or um, like what you're attracted to, like they, they do tend to have more of that painted within the campaign mm -hmm. do you think that that would have made you more comfortable to come out while you were serving or do you think that it's not how it works no i don't think so like um well because th this is the thing so when was it um i mean i i was in at the end of don't ask don't tell they it was the obama administration had just dropped the trans like the, the ban on trans people so we were doing training and everything like that my last two years that i was in the army we were we were doing training to to accept trans people into the military and so i i, I don't think so um i i think that and i i don't actually like the way that they're doing that because it's it's trying to make the military shouldn't be about like this stuff it should just be literally that you're there to do your job and so they're trying to make it about everything other than what your job is, right? And so your job is to go and fight war or is to fight wars. And it's interesting because now that I'm out, I'm actually going to be in D.C. next month where the Libertarian Party is having an anti-war rally. And I'm going to the anti-war rally. I've, did, I've done vi a video already for them about this because I'm personally, I'm a minarchist uh, in my political beliefs, which is part of the Libertarian Party. Um, and all I believe that the government's role is to provide a standing military to protect our borders. I don't think we should be fighting overseas. Um, but I, I really don't think that wokeness and has a place in the, in the military. I did a video um, right after we left Afghanistan about why I think General Milley should be fired because he's more worried about like white rage and all these woke things than actually doing our jobs. And, you know, it cost five lives in Afghanistan when we pulled out of Afghanistan. And so they're not even focusing on the right things. They're, they should be focusing on protecting our country, not, you know, queer theory and, and CRT and, and cultural Marxism. So this is a question, um, purely out of ignorance. So when you are transitioning, is there ever a, a point where you don't have to take hormones? Like, is there a, is there a point where, um, like you don't, you don't have to take them and you can continue to, uh, live in whatever gender you want, or do you have to maintain that? I, I just, I'm not sure. How that no, works. no, you, 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 um, you have to take hormones for the rest of your life, especially since, um, and to be, Fully transparent. I've had bottom surgery, so my body does not produce, will never produce testosterone again. So even if I decided to detransition, I would still have to go onto a testosterone 
I would still have to take testosterone um, if I was to detransition. Um, because if I stop taking estrogen right now, my body will only produce the small amount of testosterone that comes from like the adrenal glands. Mm-hmm. So that's what's interesting is my body still everybody's body, and it's the same as uh, a biological female. The the testosterone is produced in the adrenal glands. So I mean, my levels are still about what they were pre surgery, um, but that's the only amount of hormones I will ever have. And so if you stop taking hormones, you will go through osteoporosis. Same with a female that's had a hysterectomy. If, if, if you've had a hysterectomy, you will have to take hormones for the rest of your life. Now, if you decide to stop hormones, now a female to male could theoretically stop hormones, but they will get their period back and go through all that if they haven't had a hysterectomy, which a lot of trans people are having issues with the with the testosterone, like medical issues with testosterone. So they do have to come off of it. And so that can be very dysphoric for them while their, while their body starts to revert back to the way it was, even though that's not where they would be more comfortable, but they have to, because their body's kind of rejecting the the testosterone. Yeah. That's, that's kind of where my mind first went, because I mean, I don't think it matters who, like how you identify and who you're attracted to. I don't think that matters if you want to, you know, protect your country or you know serve your country like absolutely go do it like i love love the patriotism 